quite be frozen, but it's getting there as we work our way through December. The radar today, however, is clear at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Tonight, it's a compelling late season clash here in week 16, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Green Bay Packers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Play action. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. And, Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle. I mean, they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms, but I think what they need to do is make some sort of a statement early in this game, whether it's a turnover or takeaway, a key sack on third down, a three and out. Something lets the other guys know that you mean business. Figuratively, throw the first punch and make it a good one. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Throwing now is Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. On second down, here's Mixon. And a good run here as he'll run it all the way down to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You look at this Packers defense. We know they're going to be tough to throw on top three in the NFL defending the pass. They may be ranked third against the pass in the league, but they're the best that I've seen so far. Sometimes the numbers don't tell the full story. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. To the air, Allen. He'll drop this one down to Nixon. And almost, but not quite. Needed ten, he got nine. Fourth down. Interesting decision here. Opening drive, Charles. Fourth and short. You're in field goal range. We'll see what they do. I just shake a fist at my offense and say, go get it, guys, because if you can't pick up fourth and short here, we're probably in trouble the rest of the game. Show some confidence. Show some aggressiveness. Go pick it up. They'll run with Mixon. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's turning the clockwork right now for them. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. 
Well, this defense for the Packers, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Now a second and 10. Up the middle, it's Lynch. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. Here's third and nine. short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Bass is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Taken at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Burrow on play action. That's to the tight end, Musgrave. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second in a couple. The Packers at 8-6 now on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play. And immediately got to the pass. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. You look at this Buffalo defense. This unit coming into this one ranked number 20 against the pass in the NFL. Defending the pass has not been one of their strong suits throughout the season. But if they have any hopes of making waves in January, they've got to improve in this area. Second and seven. Now it's Burrow. Underneath, pulled in by Tomlinson. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. Defense was thinking run in their delta pass of just under 20 yards. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They go back to the ground with Jones. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So from the 26-yard line, here's a second down and four. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 14. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Touchdown! Ruth Musgrave, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers have taken the lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the ground. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Play action. Now it's Allen. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They give him a gain of 37. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Allen going to throw. for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills are able to move back in front. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. I'm 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm not no much a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's deep. That's caught at the 25. A big play here for Buffalo. 51 yards. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. But think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and bunching. And there was another first down. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Bass on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Underneath, pulled in by Tomlinson. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. This one swung out here to Jones. And now look at this, 
big game, but a fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it, and his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, people say bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. The offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. Now it's Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there in second down. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the block. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun again to Jones. And the running lane's non existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30 second mark of this first half. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Burrow will throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck but it's no good, and they will not cut into that 10-point lead. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one, but second, you set the other guys up with great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then you're deep. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched the playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Burrow looking to pass. Throw caught by Musgrave. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Oftentimes we play as an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now Burrow. Over the middle. It's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 41-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves his sticks. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. And inside give to Jones. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Now they'll toss to Jones running left. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down. Browning and able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to have the Packers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four-down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, 
If we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. And we'll try the option on first and goal. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. They'll roll him out right. Well, it's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers are back within a score. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now what Stephon Diggs. He's to the 15. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. At the 23, it's second and 12. 12, 12, 12. He'll look to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now Lynch, left side. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, didn't look his way at all 
in the first half, and I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note of the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Joe Mixon, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. There he goes, left side. And the Bills are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. It's Mixon on the counter. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills stretch this fourth quarter lead even further, and they are closing in on win number 12 of the season. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily when you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted up falling incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On third down, Burrow. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Aaron Donald in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the 
way to the three. 101 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Nixon will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. From back at the four, here's second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Packers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. That good for 19 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. They'll drop to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. He finds his man, complete, it's Reed. And he's got a first down as he's gonna be taken down, but a very nice pick up there just in front of the two minute warning. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. 
Now Burrow to throw on second down. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Aaron Donald able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down, and that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one in the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And the Bills are going to recover. Powers ahead at the 45. And he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many.